Hey everybody, this is Not A Spring Chick and today is one of those land landmark days where, let's just say, oh what was it? Race neutrality? Civil rights got turned on its head today because you can no longer ask about race on college applications in Michigan. Race neutrality. So for now we're going to bring on Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And race neutrality turned on its head, or actually, well, you know, uh, or come, is, comes to fruition. Yeah, you know, the, the the Democrats today in the Supreme. Okay, I think Kay Hagan, basically because she was involved as a solicitor general, and the case had to excuse herself. But two of the other left judges, basically, the opinion was <laughs> is that they have been trying to get race neutrality in this country for. A, a century, and now the, it has been done in in one state, which now sets the pattern for all the other states. You have to hire people on race neutrality, college education on race neutrality, uh, uh, basically you, uh, uh, apartments on race neutrality. So they've achieved what they wanted to do without a court, without the court ordering it done. How in the world did they do that? Because the people of the state of Michigan, which is a left-wing union state. Voted, they said they were getting, okay, what happened was, they were getting tired of getting our kids turned down to go to Coop's colleges because they're white. Yep. So they basically <laughs> figured out how to fix it. You can't ask anybody what race they are. No nationality for any uh, any application in the state now, so. Well, actually, didn't they first start it because they felt that the other people had a disadvantage because of their race? Well, yeah, mm -hmm. because they're trying to make up for past they had, okay, <laughs> racial quotas have been illegal totally since the Democrats ran the Supreme Court. They have totally been illegal, yet they've continued. And now the quota system is finished in our country. And remember wow. what they said about a lot of things, about was it the Voting Rights Act and stuff that they changed something on? They said, and what do you think? They dumped it back, they said, like to the thing on campaign financing. You have to go back to the sit, go back and rewrite the laws. They they're antiquated and they don't they they don't fit in today's era. So and basically, the um, Congress of the United States is not going to mess with that because uh, they you well we don't like the idea of race neutrality. We think that the we think that Afro Americans should have an advantage over everyone else. No, yeah. because then it basically it says what about the Latinos. What about the American Indians, which I, I can guarantee you, I, I was a long time ago, folks, I was accepted at Stanford Medical School. My seat in Stanford Medical was given to uh, Afro-American, and they said, well, because we have, a, we have a quota that we have to have, we have to have, well, they said, but my mother threw a fit, my, my mother could really throw a fit, she said, I'm an American Indian, and they said, well, you're not the right race in the quota, mm -hmm. so I didn't go to Stanford Medical. And, well, it's all changing. Now. I went elsewhere. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they said that, uh, uh, that, they're, that they're going to, they're, they're basically pushing all the Democrats to run on Obamacare because Obamacare is the winner because all the people, everybody, you know, it's, the most, it's going to be one of the most loved programs ever. Well, let's put it this way. Massachusetts is a god-awful left-wing state. One of the people in Massachusetts who helped write a lot of legislation to the left, he said that we cannot run on that. He said, I'll give you a very simple reason why. He said, the president will not even tell me, and I'm on his side, what the figures really are. If he doesn't, and he said, I've been in politics for 30 years. And he said, if they won't tell you what the figures really are, then the figures that they're giving you are not real. And he said, the people are not stupid. But, you know, so we're going to, he said, that's a loser for us. And GOP districts isolated from demographic, demographic changes. Uh, that's right. Which basically means you're not going to change, you're not going to take Republican seats. You're not going to have a great deal. You're going to go down and spend, we're going to spend a hundred million dollars uh, on, on green initiatives. We're going to spend a two hundred million dollars on on gun control. They're going to do it in states that are basically are not affected by the Democrats, anything the Democrats do. And Virginia voters back gay marriages court here in nears the poll. No, they don't back gay marriage. Virginia is a conservative Republican state that basically elected a Democrat because a Democrat was running on anti-Obama, anti-democratic liberal things. 
They don't, okay, here's the way it works, is in, in the United States, um, I've told you about it before, polls are basically decided upon where you go to take the poll and who you ask in that area. So basically you'll always be, you'll, you can always make certain that if, the, say if you wanted to say the moon is green, made of green cheese, you go to an area where you know they're going to give you the responses. That's Polling right. is no longer legitimate. It hasn't been for a long time. Well, just like when they do all the voter things, they'll say that such and such does this. I always look to see who supports it to <laughs> yeah. to figure out what they're going to say. Because you know that uh, you, you know that people uh, the, the, basically they bring up uh, the Ten Commandments. Well, the people in the state of Louisiana are heavily against the Ten Commandments. You know they're not. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, I guess where they... Okay. Are the people in Georgia, will they believe that all weapons should be seized by the United States government? No, they don't. And the UK submarine joins the search for plane. They're, okay, they're, they can't even guarantee that plane is in. My guess is the plane was landed somewhere. They all know it was landed somewhere. And basically the whole crappy world is basically... They've thrown maybe $100 million into it. As a, in order to keep the fact that the plane was landed. Here's the way it works for work, work for them. Everybody that's on that plane is dead. You know why they're dead? Why? Because the governments of the world have written them all off. They can't afford, they can never let you know that the plane was hijacked or something. Uh, so the people were dead. And if the plane goes up in the air, they shoot the plane down. It's just like years ago, they, uh, supposedly the Americans uh, shot down an Iranian airplane and killed everybody on board the aircraft. You know, the uh, problem was they found like 200 and some bodies floating in the ocean with nothing on, all 200 and some bodies, and bits and pieces of a blown up plane. Um, put it this way, you don't lose all of your clothes when you get shot out of the sky and hit the water. Mm. They were dead bodies that just tossed in the ocean. Oh, they were? Yeah. And Blackberry strikes a major blow against Seacrest copycat keyboard. Uh, I know, that's because what happens is that people don't realize that people put patents on things and people, other people usurp them. But the problem comes is if, here's the way it works is, if yours is a hair different than the other one, like they got the problem, Samsung and Apple have been going around for ages. Samsung invented the stuff that being used on, on the um, Androids. The, the Apple doesn't work except for the Samsung stuff. But then Apple says, well, Samsung is doing this. And you want the biggest battle of all time? You, if, you own a, if you own an Apple computer and you own a, 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 an IBM stock, a Windows stock computer, you've got to see, well, they're essentially the same system. Why? Because the people over at Apple and the people over at uh, Microsoft developed it all together. Mm -hmm. The, the, uh, the Jobs, Wallenzak, Fringe wanted one system that was one way, and the Gates and uh, was it the Gates and the guy from uh, from that owns the football team? He wanted and they wanted another way, so they split. Mm -hmm. But they're the same essential operating system done by two different people. Mm -hmm. And Bulgaria wary as Russia steps up military flights over Black Sea. Yeah, uh, they said that uh, they, uh, I'm listening, watching the thing last night on public on the cable channels, and they're talking about the Munich Accord. And that nobody, they be, well, we can't get involved. Well, because nobody got involved, 60 million people were killed. This time, because no one gets involved, uh, they said, well, you got a guy that's head of a country that admires Adolf Hitler. But he's not going to do these things because he can't afford to. Mm -hmm. Why? Bill O'Reilly. Well, we have to punish these people economically. We have to make certain that they can't use our credit card. Well, they're making their own credit card. They can't use our bankings. Well, they've already pulled the money out of this country and are no longer investing here. There is nothing that Bill O'Reilly suggests that can be done can be done because the president let him get off the hook. Oh. Yeah. And a Monty bubble is in for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, uh, okay. This is the simple one. Uh, too often people look, but they don't really see.